As a married military veteran receiving VA disability compensation, you may be wondering, can my spouse continue to receive my VA disability compensation when I die? Or you may just be wondering what disability benefits are available to your spouse through you as a disabled military veteran. My name is Lori Underwood, I'm an attorney with Woods and & Woods, and we have prepared this segment to answer some of the questions you may have regarding what VA disability benefits are available to military spouses in the event of the death of the veteran. If you are receiving VA disability compensation, it's important to note that your disability compensation will not continue after your death to be payable to your spouse or your dependent children. However, there are benefits available to a disabled veteran's spouse, dependent children, or parents, and these benefits are referred to as family member benefits. One such benefit is known as a burial and memorial benefit. These benefits are available to assist survivors of deceased veterans in meeting the funeral, burial, and memorial costs associated with a service member or veteran's death. There are many different variations of this benefit, and it's a one-time benefit. You're probably most concerned with your spouse's standard of living in the event of your passing, which would lead to the question of if your, if your spouse can continue to receive your disability compensation after your death. Sadly, the answer here is no, not necessarily to the same extent. However, there is a benefit known as Dependency and Indemnity Compensation, also called DIC for short, which is available to qualifying family members in the event of a veteran's death. I want to note here that we have provided an informational video on our website specific to DIC benefits. It's important to refer back to this video for questions on who is eligible for this benefit, what requirements the survivor must meet to be awarded, and how to apply. In this video, we address common law marriages as well, which the VA does accept when awarding DIC benefits. How much does DIC benefit pay? Well, since January 1st, 1993, DIC benefits all pay the same amount. It's a flat basic rate. This flat rate is significant and may be a significant change for your spouse because a veteran is compensated for disability benefits based on their combined rating. DIC does not pay based on the veteran's combined rating. Rather, it's a consistent monthly payment awarded for cause of death and is the same for every spouse or qualifying member in every state who has been awarded. So all states, DIC will pay the same. Texas, New York, California, Ohio, it's all a flat rate. The VA publishes these DIC rates on their website. You can do a search and you can find those rate charts. You will see that since December 12th, 2018, for example, a surviving spouse is receiving $1,319.04 per month. These rates have changed over time and it's always important to consult the VA compensation rate table when wondering what you may be eligible for receiving or what your spouse may be eligible to receive. There is very good chance that this is a different amount than what the veteran is receiving as VA disability compensation. It may be less but it may also be more. I do want to point out that there is additional compensation available when there are dependent qualifying children under the age of 18 in a from a marriage. The DIC allowances are adjusted over time, but the adjustments will apply to all of those receiving the benefit. If you're looking for the VA DIC compensation allowances, you may know that there are other additional allowances that are available to surviving spouses. If you're a surviving spouse and you have questions about your VA DIC benefits or whether you're eligible for VA DIC benefits, call us at the number below at Woods & Woods so we can assist you as your VA disability benefits survivor guide.